I'm posting my video about the Object 452K now because honestly I wasn't sure if I was going to purchase this tank simply because the first Russian heavy tank from the assembly shop uh, turned out to be a huge disappointment uh, for me personally. Maybe some of you guys like it, but for me I, I did not really enjoy that tank too much. So I was a little hesitant to purchase the 452K. I did watch some of the other content creator videos about this tank and it looks decent enough. So I thought I'd give it a shot and today we're gonna see one of my best rounds with the Object 452K so far. I noticed that the majority of my friendly heavy tanks have gone to the 09 line so I really can't push the hill right now so I get into the hull down position in front of me waiting for the enemy tanks to take hill because they outnumber us over here I tell the mouse to just hang back because we really can't push hill right now Our tanks did really well in the 09 line and that flank has fallen for the enemy team which means that their base is now vulnerable. The enemy object 452k that was currently or previously on hill has noticed this and is going to start heading back to their base to defend now which is going to create an opportunity for me to now be able to push in with my mouse and clear up the hill and make the push to their base. to be upset. This is a Russian tank. It happens. Get used to it. That Yak Tiger did not want to be in this game anymore.
great game overall. We did 6.9k damage with 1.1k assistance. I believe half of that is well, not half of that assistance. I think it was around like 475 assistance points were from tracking. So we probably only got about six, uh, 550 or 600 um, spotting assistance, which puts us at around 7.4 or 7.5 case combined, somewhere in that ballpark. But still, fantastic game overall. Uh, we got high caliber, Confederate. We also managed to get Ace Tanker. Um, and we also picked up four kills, uh, one of those kills being the kill on the M5355, who did manage to hit our ISU teammate for over 800 damage. So we did avenge our ISU, and we sent an artillery back to the garage, which is, in my, my opinion, it's always a highlight, because artillery makes my life miserable in this game. So it's always nice when I get to send them back to the garage. After getting to play a few rounds with this tank, I honestly like it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. I, I like it. I think it's a good tank. It is not overpowered by any means. It's a pretty strong tank, and it is a little bit difficult to play. You, you need to know where to play this tank. Um, otherwise, everyone is pretty much going to shred you, simply because of the fact that this tank doesn't have great armor like it works in some situations but it's really the armor really isn't great especially on flat grounds um or against taller taller tanks that you might be going up against it the armor doesn't work too well against them but i do like this tank's gun it's it's not inaccurate it's also not super accurate but it's good enough to the point where it works I can make it work, I can hit my shots, and I can hit for 560 alpha, 600 alpha, as you guys saw in, in many instances this game. And the shell shell selection for this tank is also pretty good. I do like the AP rounds that have uh, 260 penetration and that uh, they have 1200 shell velocity, 1200 meters per second shell velocity, which is fantastic. Um, the heat rounds don't have the greatest shell velocity but they at least have the 320 pen which is better than the three 311 millimeters of pen on the uh, object 780 now wargaming has pitched this tank as a hull down monster but i don't entirely agree with it so if we look at this tank here it only has seven degrees of gun depression i have maxed out its gun depression the heat round that you guys see over here, it's the heat round from the Jagdpanzer. Now, if you manage to get this tank into an ideal hull down spot where you're using your 7 degrees of gun depression and you're able to still have shots on the enemy tanks uh, against you, then in those situations, even a Jagdpanzer is going to struggle to pen you with uh, gold rounds. Um, like it is not going to be easy for that tank to go through the seven four five two k's turret when it's well so well angled like this. Um, but with the Jagdpanzer, I think it's only the Jagdpanzer that can do this. And someone correct me if I'm wrong here. At least on tanks.gg, I'm seeing that there uh, there is a weak point on the mantlet. I I say weak point in quotation marks here because it's it's still four hundred millimeters of thickness, but it. It does look like if that if that weak point is legit, it looks very small though. Um, but if it is legit, 400 millimeters in thickness, a Yak Panzer can go through it with heat. Um, so can some of the other tier 10 or some tier 9 TDs. They should also be able to go through that. Um, but again, it's it's a very difficult shot to hit, <laughs> and I don't think with the Yak Panzer accuracy. It can aim so perfectly for for the mantlet. Anyways, my 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 whole point is, Wargaming pitched this tank as a hull down tank, which is true to a certain extent. Um, it can play hull down very well. But here's my thing: let's say I'm fighting this tank, and let's let's even say I have a 113 which has 340 340 millimeters of heat pen, um, and a lot of tier 10 heavy tanks, medium tanks, they can get up to anywhere between 320 and 340 millimeters of uh, penetration on their gold rounds. 
let's say I'm playing the 113 and I'm up against a hull down 452k. Why would I why would I sit in front of this guy, right? Because I can't I literally can't pen this guy anywhere. Like not in his mantlet, not in his uh turret. Um and if his if the 452k is uh let's say the 452k manages to hide his hull fully from me. I literally cannot pen this thing. It is impenetrable from certain angles. Which means that my strategy against this tank is to leave it the fuck alone when it's hull down. Because there's there's nothing I can do against it when it's hull down. So then the it, it just breaks the whole purpose of this tank being a hull down heavy tank in my opinion. Because in in the games that I played, no one sat against me when I was hull down. And it makes sense. Just why would they? I pretty much had to leave my hull down position. I had to, um, I had to leave the position where, um, which which had my lower plate covered. I had to leave those positions, expose myself to get into the fight and get get in shots of damage. And you know, when you expose this tank, the armor it, it has armor, but it's it's not all that great. Um. So, in my opinion, just calling this a hull down tank, yes, yes and no. I, I just find that no one's going to play against me if I'm playing hull down. And no one in their right mind should play against me when I'm playing hull down because they, they just can't do anything. Aside from artillery, which, um, which made me uh, question my decision to purchase this tank because artillery will ruin you whether you're hull down or whether you're not hull down in this tank. But overall, I I like this tank. It's pretty decent. Um, I I also like the way this tank looks. I I think it it's a really cool modern modern esque tank, at least in my opinion. 